Orange County Registered Digital. Hello and welcome to the final OC Varsity Dugout Show of the year. That's Steve Fryer. I'm Jonathan Camus. We're here at Santa Margarita, the last one left standing here in Division One, along with Foothill. As the semifinals took place last night, Steve, at Blair Field in Long Beach, Foothill winning out, Santa Margarita winning out. They will play each other for the Division I championship Friday night at Dodgers Stadium. How are the Eagles going to soar to a championship, Steve? Well, they've certainly got all the ammo and one of the big uh, parts of the arsenal is the guy who's going to be on the hill for them, Griffin Canning, uh, one of, if not the best pitcher in Orange County baseball. And Foothill probably going to counter with Hudson Hughes, who's had a great year for them. Uh, good hitter, good pitcher for them. Uh, both teams are hotter than blazes. They got, they're playing their best baseball at the best time of year to do so. Santa Margarita is second uh, place team out of the Trinity League, a great Trinity League this year. Again, as usual, three teams were in the quarterfinals in Division One. Jonathan, I always say that the hardest championship to win in CIF sports is Division One baseball team championship. That's a tough one to go with. Both these teams have played great baseball to get here. and. Uh, you know, will Santa Maria continue to soar all the way to uh, another win on Friday? We're going to find out. Yeah, and the Foothill Knights are looking for a good night. Remember, they finished last in their league last yeah. season. So with more uh, with Santa Margarita and the Eagles, we caught up with them earlier. Here's what they had to say. I'm just going to control my adrenaline. I'm going to try and uh, turn it into positive thoughts and that uh, uh, just get me going. Um, just focus on the glove, just playing catch. Uh, not really getting into the moment too much. Our coaches have told us uh, it's got to be pitch by pitch. Every every game, you got to win every inning. You know that's the most important thing. Uh, we got to rely on our teammates. Uh, we've come up in big games and uh, big situations. I don't doubt that we'll be perfectly calm and everything for Friday night. We can't look at you know oh we played great against Norco. We played we played great against Tribuco. That doesn't mean anything. You know we got to go and, and take care of business against Foothill, and you know it's going to start from pitch one and just compete in every single pitch. So it's going to be fun. Our thanks to the Eagles. Uh, moving on, Steve, Division Two, uh, another South County team, if you will, Aliso Niguel in the Division Two championship game. They're actually playing Friday before Santa Margarita and Foothill at five o'clock. They are facing Temecula Valley. Uh, what do you got on this one? Well, Temecula Valley had to go through the wild card round to get to the finals. Uh, in the semifinals, they beat a hot Valencia team. They beat them pretty good, ten to nothing. So they've got it going on. But they're going to have to face a pretty good pitcher. Uh, Kyle Molnar is going to be on the uh, on the uh, bump over there for for Elisa Niguel. He's what ten and one <laughs> going into this game. Uh, had an all county sort of year, and they've got a lot of hitters. Uh, Dominic Colasio, the third base, has been hitting the snot out of the ball for them as well. They've got some great players all over the field, so that's a good matchup uh, for them. And Temecula Valley, you know, even though they were you know had to go through the wild card round, they were ranked in the state top twenty for much of the season. So. That's going to be a pretty good, uh, tough matchup for Lisa Niguel on uh, Friday for at the for the five o'clock game. And don't forget about the small schools, if you will, Division yeah. Six and some others playing at UC Riverside on Saturday. We have a uh, Capo Valley Christian in one of those finals. Yeah, that's right, Capistrano Valley Christian. I picked them to actually yeah, win did. the whole division. Uh, Come out of the San Joaquin League, pretty good team. They've got uh, a lot of good guys all over that team. Parker Koss, Zach Anas, the catcher's been really hot in the playoffs as well. They play Sierra Canyon of Chatsworth. That's a pretty good uh, baseball team as well. A lot of people picked uh, Sierra Canyon to win the championship, the Division Six. Capistrano Valley Christian, pretty good. I and mean, there's a lot of good baseball players down in South County. And, and Capistrano Valley Christian uh, has a few of them on their roster. All right, we'll see if it'll be uh, all three teams winning championships for Orange County Friday and Saturday. Well, like I said, this is the last OC Varsity Dugout show of the season. I want to thank you personally, Steve Fryer, for being the guru of baseball. And I uh, appreciate all the knowledge you've bestowed on everybody as well as myself. My thanks to you. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, and for all of your latest OC Varsity playoff championship updates, check out ocvarsity.com where we've got you covered. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.